independent Better recognize I'm a king's descendant If they wish to end us, then I bring the vengeance You can't buy me with your veins of pendants Cause I'm independent Better recognize I'm a king's descendant If they wish to end us, then I bring the vengeance You can't buy me with your veins of pendants DIY gang, 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 DIY gang. Welcome to the DIY gang guide. I'm Shaldo, but you should know that already. So today I want to talk about opinions, advice, the general mental state as an artist and how difficult it can be turning that dream into a reality, especially when you have other people in your life who become heavily involved in what you do and who want to put their, their, their thoughts and opinions into it. Um, now it's no secret, being a full-time artist, a full-time musician, a full-time rapper, it's difficult. There's no guarantees that you're going to even succeed. There's no guarantees that you're going to make money. There's no guarantees that you're going to stay sustainable. From the outside looking in, you know, you either see the top of the top or you see the bottom of the bottom. You see the people who are struggling, who aren't surviving. And if you've got family and friends around you who care about you, they might be very concerned when or if you decide that pursuing a music career is what you want to do because you know they don't see the middle ground they don't see the artists who are doing well but you, but you don't hear about you don't always see that so the concern is you know getting a, a a normal job is a lot more stable a lot more stable it's a lot more sensible but i'm sure you know as an artist and as a, a music maker and as somebody with talent this is what you have to do it's not a case of oh yeah i, I kind of want to do this this is it's, it's a burning desire, it's a passion that has to be fulfilled, otherwise you will go through life feeling like something's missing. So, first and foremost, when you get into music, you have to do it for yourself, you know? Okay, you might have fans, you might have people who like what you do, but ultimately you need to make music for you. If you're not happy with what you're putting out, then there is a big problem. So firstly, make music for yourself. Um, when it comes to the advice and opinions of other people, you know, I've come across so many different people from different walks of life who have different things to say about music, ranging from, you know, oh, well, I only make music for the love of it. I'm, I'm not trying to make money from it. Now, that's fine and fair enough, but when you say that to somebody who is trying to make a living from their music, to me, that comes across as... sounds It sounds a little bit weird to me, and here's why. Because I believe it's almost it's almost trying to subconsciously discourage that person by saying, oh, well, you know, I've tried it and I can't do it. So because I can't do it, you can't do it. And you have to, when people say things in relation to what you're doing, you have to be very careful. Don't let it affect you too much. Always, I would say, analyze it and think about what this person is saying, what you think they're really saying, and, you know, the position they're coming from with it. Where, what is their experience? So, if a random person comes up to me and tells me I should go on the X Factor, I'm going to think, okay, why are they saying this? Well, because X Factor is all they know in relation to music. What is their experience? They're a casual music listener. So realistically, they don't know what they're talking about. Not in a rude way, but it is what it is. Now, if a 10 year plus veteran in the music industry comes up to me and gives me a piece of advice or says, I think you should do this, I'm going to listen to it. I may not take the advice, but I'm certainly going to listen to it and analyze it and think, okay, well, they're coming from a position of knowledge where they actually know what they're talking about. So I could potentially take this piece of advice seriously. And this is how I would advise you to, to, <laughs> it's funny because I'm giving you advice, but I'm coming from a position where I've lived entirely off my music for six years. So I at least know a bit about what the hell I'm talking about. But yeah, I would advise you when it comes to advice and opinions to always kind of take it with a bit of a grain of salt. You know, it can be so destructive to allow people to push their own prejudices and their worries and their own failures onto you and onto your fledgling career if you're just starting. And that can end up with you never achieving what you want to achieve because of what other people think and what other people believe about what it is you're doing. I would say just... Firstly, be very careful with who you share the failures and the worries with. You know, be sure that the person has your best interests at heart. Because not everybody does. Some people just want to hear about when you're failing. Uh, and that's not good. 
And the more that you share those failures, the more people are going to think, oh, well, he's not or she's not doing very well. So be very careful with who you share those failures with. Have your close group of people who you really trust. When it comes to asking for advice from people um, and opinions, I have uh, like three or four people who I'll always go to and I'll always ask. And I generally know what their, what their response is going to be. I know that there's somebody, I know I've got a negative person who will give me the really brutally honest. I've got somebody who will, who will generally be down with what I'm thinking. I've got somebody a, a bit in the middle and I know roughly where they stand on advice giving. So when I ask them for some, when I ask them for advice, you know, I know what to expect. So I've already prepared myself for that. So if I'm going to get a brutal piece of advice where they say, no, I don't like it or whatever. I already know that, that I'm likely to hear that. So I've guarded myself against it. And it's not going to hurt me too much. And sometimes you need to hear that. You do need people who are going to be honest with you, who are going to tell you what it is, who are going to tell you if something's not good. You need to hear that. But at the same time, you need to be strong enough in yourself to know that, okay, if I want to do this, this is what I'm going to do. And I can listen to your advice and I can take it on board and I might slightly change my direction, but ultimately I'm going down this path because this is what I believe to be right. You can't always allow yourself to be pulled from different directions for, by people either. So be very careful about that. I'm just giving you just general information today. I think that it's always important to have a good mentality and be strong in yourself when you are in the music industry because there are so many people who want to, who will tell you things or who will try and get on board, but they have ulterior motives and they've got their reasons for doing so. And they might not always have your best interests at heart. So you have to have your own best interests at heart. You have to know that this is my, this is my journey. This is my path. This is how I'm going to do it. Um, okay, there are people who are going to be involved. I'm going to listen to them. I'm going to show them the respect that they deserve, but I'm not always going to feel obligated to follow what they say. Do you know what I mean? And ultimately, you can't care what other people think. You really can't um, in this industry. You, and again, it sounds harsh, but I do stuff because I want to do it. You know, I make music because that's what I want to do. I made a manga because that's what I wanted to do. It doesn't matter if it's if that's what people think is smart or not. I have to do that. You understand what I mean? Because that's my artistry and that's my art. So always put your art first, but just be smart about it, okay? And when you're taking advice from people, just bear in mind who's giving the advice. That's all I'd say. So yeah, I hope that helped you. It's just a little thought on my brain today. Um, I'm heading over to Oxford to headline a stage at a festival, which I'm excited about. It's Common People Festival today. So that's going to be dope. Um, as always, if you have any questions, if you have any um, particular things that you want me to cover, just leave your thoughts in the comments. But yeah, I hope it helped you. You know, just be strong in your mind because it's a tough industry. It really, really is. It's going to constantly break you down. It's going to constantly challenge you, but it's so rewarding. So, so rewarding. And I hope you love it as much as I do or even more. So till next time, this is a DIY gang guide. Keep it independent. Keep it DIY gang. Peace.